What is going on guys? Joe here with RedmanPi.com and today we're showing you how to jailbreak iOS 8.4 on a Mac. Now the jailbreak tool that we'll be using today is known as the PP Jailbreak. Now this jailbreak tool is going to be compatible with the following devices. The iPhone 4S, the 5, 5C, 5S, the iPhone 6, and the 6 Plus, along with the iPad Air 1 and 2, iPad Mini 1, 2, and 3, the iPad 2nd generation, 3rd generation, and 4th generation, and lastly, the iPod Touch 5th generation. Now it does support iOS 8.1.3 all the way up to iOS 8.4. My recommendation would be go ahead and update to iOS 8.4 if you haven't done so yet. That way you'll be on the latest firmware. Now if you did update using over the air, which is simply by going to the settings, going to general, going to software updates, and you updated from iOS 8.3 up to iOS 8.4, that method, I'd recommend also going ahead and restoring your device because you might have some issues if you update it over the air. Now before we begin, go ahead and open up iTunes and make sure you back up your data either using iTunes or using iCloud. That way you have your data backed up in case if anything goes wrong, but typically you won't have any issues with jailbreaks, but it's always great to have that backup just in case. So all you gotta do is open up iTunes and hit backup now right here. Once your data is backed up, we'll have to take some additional steps on your device. First we'll go into settings, and then go down to iCloud. And if you do have your iCloud account signed in, go ahead and disable Find My iPhone. I don't actually have mine signed in, so I don't have to worry about that. But if you are signed into it, go ahead and disable Find My iPhone. Once you do that, go down to Passcode and then go ahead and turn off any passcodes along with Touch ID. So if you have a Touch ID device, go ahead and turn that off as well. Once we have our passcode disabled and find my iPhone disabled, we'll take one last step and just simply put our device into airplane mode and also be sure Bluetooth is disabled as well. Typically, if you just hit airplane mode, it should disable that, but just in case if it didn't, go ahead and make sure that is off. Now also be sure that iTunes is running on the latest version. Make sure iTunes is fully closed out. And also if you have Xcode running, go ahead and close that out as well. And then we'll simply have to download the PP jailbreak tool which will be included in the links down below. Once it's fully downloaded, go ahead and open it up and it will look something like this. And then simply connect your device to your computer and you will see that it has detected it right down here. Mine, for example, is gonna be the iPod Touch and it is running iOS 8.4. Now, lastly, be sure to have this install PP helper unchecked. So if you do have it checked, make sure to uncheck that because we don't want that to install on our device. Once that is unchecked, go ahead and hit jailbreak. And this next screen is simply gonna state all the things that we've already done to our device. So now we'll be able to simply continue. And now it's jailbreaking and we just play the waiting game as always and let the PP jailbreak tool do its thing. So now on the PP jailbreak screen, when it says jailbroken, we are of course jailbroken. So we can go ahead and unlock our device. So slide to unlock. And then we head over to the right and now you'll notice Cydia right up here on the top right. And now we'll go ahead and continue the preparing the file system. Now this is going to take a couple of minutes. So just let it sit and do its thing. And then your device is going to reboot once again. Now once your device reboots, once again, we'll slide to unlock. And we'll go ahead and uh, turn off airplane mode. I believe I did not turn that off. There we go. Let's turn that off. And now we'll go back into Cydia. And now when you open up Cydia, you'll be greeted with the welcome to Cydia screen. So you've officially jailbroken iOS 8.4 using a Mac. Now, if you are new to jailbreak or if you want some additional tweaks for iOS 8.4, we have a roundup of 100 tweaks that you can download today that are compatible with iOS 8.4. So be sure to check that out. We'll leave a link down below in the description. But anyways, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Now, if you do have any questions or anything on how to jailbreak iOS 8.4 for Mac, we will also be sure to leave a written tutorial down below so you can go ahead and refer to that. But if you did enjoy this video, as always, please let us know by hitting that like button. It does show support to the channel and lets us know that you did enjoy the video. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be notified when we come out with all of our latest videos. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching and we'll catch you all on the next one.